Hi everybody. As you know, I got my honeybees and um, they're really busy. As you can see, they are running. And they don't like they don't like city water. So I have this is water station for them. Which I made here from the local tree. So I had to drill the the pump for them. The pump is here. Hand pump. You know. And they like this water. So recently we had the really extremely cold weather and uh, and happened that this pump had broken right here. You can see the crack here. It doesn't work anymore. And this is around $200 parts if you include the base. The head, four hundred dollars. So I decided to. This is my design or my well for honeybees well. I decided to repair this. So only to repair this is we need to weld it. This is cast iron. Okay. Or. We need to brace it. This is. So in this case, I'm gonna use my oxygen acetylene torch here. And I'm gonna brace it. Of course. I'm going to V cut here, where this is crack. Pack weld or brace. And after that, I am remove these bolts, mounting bolts, and uh, cut all the way. But I need to drill to the end. Yeah, I need to drill to the end of this of this cut hole to depressurize the crack traveling right here I need to drill the hole because crack is traveling all the way to him yeah I need to drill to depressurize to protect from traveling around after that I need a wee cut here, all around yeah and I got a brace brazing is uh, uh, using the lower melting point metal to connect the higher melting point metal because it's cast iron this over a thousand degrees melting point and I'm gonna use a brass which is around 700 melting um, degrees melting points okay and I cut the V cut here which is going to be braced braced see? all the way to the here Let's see this crack Okay, brazing is done. You can see. And also, I have to to clean up inside because some bra brass penetrating through the metal to the housing, so it could damage my gasket. This gasket around, so I need to fix inside as well. I'm gonna use some antices for these mounting bolts. I think it's enough. And also I noticed this rubber gasket is bad. It's damaged here. See, so I'm gonna use this this piece of rubber diaphragm from the truck, brake chamber diaphragm, 
and I'm gonna make one. Hopefully I'm gonna trace it and cut it. Okay guys, so I replaced this gasket too. You can see from this rubber brake chamber diaphragm of the truck, heavy duty truck. And also braised this crack here. It was cracked from the ice. Extremely low temperature. Let's check. Do we have water now? Yep, there we go. This is self priming pump, so it means we don't need to, to pour water here to prime it. It's always water here. That core was freezing point inside, expanded ice and crack around. So only way to do it, insulate these all around if you're expecting some freezing, freezing point or put a well here and let the water down in the ground so it will be protected next time okay always something some problems coming you know, and uh, stupidity to me it's my fault of course so see you at the next stupidity too i'm just kidding bye bye